Adam Sandler once again getting a movie studio to pay for his lavish vacation and bringing Jennifer Aniston along because it is a sequel. Let's talk about Murder Mystery 2. Hey guys, Dan here. This is Dan Reviews It. Welcome to my spoiler-free review for the new Netflix film Murder Mystery 2. Two, the latest in a long line of Sandler Netflix collabs. I think still to this day, he's got to be the biggest A-list star with a Netflix exclusive deal. He's done now, I don't know, seven or eight maybe movies uh, for Netflix. And uh, the, the first murder mystery was on the, the Netflix exclusive list. That was 2019, I want to say. Um, and now we are back with the sequel. But of course, Sandler and Anderson worked together years and years ago with Just Go With It as well. Um, but this will reunite them as their characters, of course, from the first murder mystery. But before we launch into all of that, I want to welcome you into Day of Reviews. It. Thank you for finding this video. We've got a ton of great stuff on the channel for you to check out. Uh, I try to put some new stuff up just about every day. This week I was I was slacking a little bit um, because I was very ill the other day. So uh, sort of went a couple of days without a video. But you know what? We'll make up for it. We'll double down on a, a couple of days, I'm sure. But uh, in any event, please consider subscribing down below there. would love to have you aboard uh, in that capacity as well. So, all right. In terms of the plot of this movie, we see uh, Nick and Audrey once again, the characters uh, from the first movie, struggling to get their private uh, detective agency off the ground when they get invited to... Their uh, friend's lavish wedding, uh, Maharaja, and he ends up being kidnapped at his own wedding. Uh, and so they find themselves in the middle of uh, this international debacle, and uh, it goes from there. Some of the uh, people, uh, other than Sandler and Aniston in this film, include Mark Strong, Jodie Turner-Smith, uh, Melanie Laurent, uh, Gillian Bell, and Tony Goldwyn as well. Uh, so not a ton of, like, Sandler regulars. You know, there's no David Spade here or uh, Kevin James or Steve Buscemi or, you know, a lot of the people we usually see with the uh, the Sandler comedies. All right, so here's the thing. A lot of these movies, these Sandler movies, are pretty much, you know, critic-proof. You're either going to like it or you're not. Um, you're either, you know, a, a Sandler fan or not so much. Um, so I'm not sure anything I say here is going to sort of persuade you either way to watch this movie. I will say that uh, I do think the murder mystery movies on the whole, if we're, if we're going to talk about it as a franchise now, um, are on the better end of the Sandler uh, recent comedies. You know, you've got on, on the bad end, you know, you've got like The Ridiculous Six and the Zohan and Jack and Jill and, and stuff like that. But, um, you know, the murder mystery movies, I will say, look, they're stupid and nonsensical in some of the, some of the things, um, you know, and, and they're certainly over the top in terms of the, uh, you know, the, the pure ridiculousness, really. Um, but I will say a lot of the, the Sandler, um, enjoyment comes from him kind of playing off of his co-stars. And that's why I think we get a lot of these movies with similar, uh, people. And him and Jennifer Aniston obviously have an interesting chemistry together. I have to imagine, you know, it's funny to, to, to think now of these people, you know, just kind of starting out. But you remember, um, or you might not remember, I don't know. But Adam Sandler, you know, got his start on MTV on this game show called Remote Control. And uh, right around the same time, Jennifer Aniston was doing the, the Ferris Bueller TV show, the sitcom um, that they had spun off from the movie. And so, you know, they, they both kind of, got their starts right around the same time. And, you know, he started blowing up in the early 90s and her, of course, with friends. So I imagine that these two have probably known each other a while. Um, I, I could be wrong on that, but, um, you know, I feel like they both kind of run in, in similar circles uh, back in the day. And their chemistry on screen is uh, is palatable. They are funny together. Now, is this going to, you know, redefine comedy? Is this going to redefine Sandler movies? No. I, look, I don't think we're ever going to get back to that Sandler comedy era of the 90s, you know, back when his stuff uh, was a little more fresh and whatever. Now, the drama side, I think he's been doing some really interesting things with Uncut Gems and stuff. But this movie, much like the first murder mystery, um, you know, look, there's there's lavish, uh, you know, sets and they're on these these great 
you know, island destinations and stuff. I forget, I forget if the first one was on an island, but here, you know, it's, it's the, the whole Sandler trick of, uh, you know, getting the studio to pay for the, the vacation. So, you know, a lot of really, really beautiful things to look at, beautiful scenery. Um, you know, there's, there's some amusing, uh, sequences with, you know, gunplay and, and sort of, um, you know, mistaken identity kind of things. And to be honest, this is on the better end of some of these Sandler movies. Um, now, I'm not saying uh, that this is a good movie. It's not. It's average, I would say, at best. Um, but I think the two of them really do play off each other very well. You know, Aniston and Sandler have good chemistry. The jokes, while some of them are fairly obvious, um, some of them actually, you know, do hit uh, and might be memorable. In terms of the the plotting, though... It's all over the place. I mean, there's just, there's some things that just make no sense. And there's some things that are just so unrealistic. Um, but I don't think we're coming to Sandler movies for, you know, 100% uh, authenticity. And this is how it would play out, you know, if this happened in the real world. I, I don't think we're coming for that, right? So um, long story short, you know, this is not among the best Sandler movies, how could it be? Um, you know, it's not going to be up there. But in terms of the recent Netflix output, I think this is definitely among the better ones. Um, and, and with that, that means it's not a really high grade. It's it's somewhere in the middle. Um, but I think if you're a Sandler fan, you'll enjoy this. If you're not, you wouldn't be watching it anyway. But like I said, these movies are kind of critic-proof. I don't think there's anything I can say um, unless it was like, unless I gave it an A or something that would make you want to, want to watch it, um, if you had no interest before. But in any event, uh, I'll, I'll leave it there. Murder Mystery is, is kind of average on every level, but I did get a few laughs. And, uh, for the recent Sandler output, it's not bad. I'm going to leave Murder Mystery with a C. I think that's where the first Murder Mystery was. That might have been a C plus, somewhere in that range. This is about in that range as well. So, all right. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time on Day of Reviews. Bye.